So there's this new thing out um, called Skittle Parties where I guess they put all these medications into a bowl not knowing what it is. Um, they never had this when I was younger but it is common now and it's scary. It could be blood pressure medication, it could be, you know, Benzos. Benzos, narcotics, anything. You don't know what you're taking and you don't know what pill is interacting with another pill. If it could kill you, you don't know. I got my start uh, when I was in eighth grade. Uh, I started to smoke a uh, pot with some of my friends. Uh, and it was like that throughout eighth grade. Uh, and then into ninth grade, uh, I got a job. And I would work all week. Monday through Friday, every day after school, uh, and uh, and then on the weekends, me and my friends would all pool our money together uh, and get different drugs. We did cocaine one month, uh -huh. Adderall the next month, uh, acid, mushrooms, uh, ecstasy, uh, pretty much anything we could get our hands on. I basically had somebody that I worked with. He put out. Uh, very small, like the, the size of my, my fingernail of Oxycontin. Um, it was an 80 milligram pill and it's used for cancer patients, um, people that are dying. Uh, and then I was, you know, passed out on the floor, um, pretty much drooling on myself and I, I couldn't even, I couldn't even finish closing the, the rest of the store. And um, I didn't like the way it made me feel, yet the next day, and the day after that, I did it again. Uh, one of my friends uh, got some heroin, uh, and I tried it for the first time. But after that weekend, you know, I thought I could stop whenever I wanted to, uh, but I just didn't want to stop. You know, I thought I'd do it for a couple of months and then move on. I didn't know for a long time that I, I was really dependent on it. Um, I noticed that I would start getting sick after about two weeks of me doing it constantly. And my withdrawals were getting pretty bad. Uh, and uh, at that point, you know, I was puking, uh, I had uncontrollable diarrhea, I was sweating, uh, I couldn't get warm or I was either too warm or I couldn't get cold. Uh. You, you can't die from withdrawal, but you feel like you're dying. You literally feel like you're dying. And um, these guys that I had met were like, oh, come over and we'll, we'll give you a little bit of heroin to, to get off E, you know, so you're not sick and you can go do what you need to do to get well. And I'm like, okay, I'm desperate at this point. I just want to feel better. And these two guys actually raped me when I walked in. I saw someone behind me and they were waving me down. I was one of my friends. Uh -huh. So I stopped the car. Uh -huh. And then one of the guys I owed money uh, hopped in the car uh, and he pulled a gun on me. Um, so then I had to go home uh, and then, you know, I started to steal stuff. I had went to go find my father after not seeing him for years. Um, so I remember being in his apartment and there was, you know, smoke coming out of the bathroom and this funny smell. And at this point, I, I was doing pills, nothing more than that. Um, and he comes out and I start asking him questions. Come to find out he was smoking crack cocaine. So that was the first time I stole a gun. Uh, when you steal a gun, it's a felony charge per gun. Uh, and I think it's seven to 11 years, I'm not sure. Um, by the time that week ended, uh, I stole nine of my dad's guns and I sold them. And I ended up using with my father. And that was the, I just wanted a relationship and that was the relationship that we had to get. Um, so, <laughs> sorry. Um, so I did that for a little bit uh, and one night he got really drunk and was really messed up on drugs and he thought that I was my mom and he tried to force himself upon me. So I went uh, when my parents weren't looking and I stole a check and I uh, forged a check uh, in my dad's name to me and I went down to the bank and I cashed it. 
uh, I went to a dealer's house uh, and I bought three grams of heroin uh, and I shot it up all at once. I, I tried to intentionally OD and kill myself. It all ends the same way I was taught, jails, institutions, and death, and I have experienced everything but death. Every call my mom got, she thought it was from the police department. She thought they were calling to let me know that I was dead. Five of my old best friends are dead. Um, they OD'd. Uh, and two of my closest friends I don't even talk to anymore. Uh, because one of them sold me the heroin I tried to kill myself with. Uh, and she knew what I was doing. Uh, but she didn't care because she wanted the money. Uh, you know... That's the stuff that you don't think about when you're using, how much people love you. And, you know, it will do anything just to get you back. And <laughs> I remember being dropped off for treatment and my mom, excuse me. And my mom crying and, and just saying, you know, I just want my daughter back. 